when you talk about having a, a vision for a bike or creating something that doesn't exist, that really does happen in your head. There's a lot of things that you're looking at when you make a decision to either launch a model or to do a new platform. Once we determine a customer need, we start with our industrial design group and they design and they ideate. We also do a lot of research to understand the need at a deep level to understand what drives it. It's one thing to say, I want to go fast. It's like, well, why do you want to go fast? Where do you want to go fast? When do you want to go fast? In what environment? Uh, the attitude of the bike, you know, what is it communicating to the customer visually? There's a market segment, a price point, how all the individual components play together as a whole. We're involved right up front from when there's just uh, words on a paper in terms of what the product's going to be as the sketches are evolving. And then we move into the clay phase where we'll provide a light skeleton for them to model the clay onto and then we work really hard together to develop the hard model as well. The unique thing about the Indian process is we have the entire clay process to sort of start the foundation of the program. Once we get to that final clay state then we jump into CAD. Everything we didn't get time to work out in clay will further develop in the computer so we'll bring in all the engineering inputs whether it's draft, heartbreak, feasibility, manufacturing constraints and then we'll continue to develop those surfaces with the lead designer just of improving on the clay that we've already done. Our goal is to make a bike that captures people's imagination, lives up to the standard of our founders and of the old Indian brand. Your desire when you first start doing something is to make it as perfect as it possibly can in your mind's eye. Like, what should this bike really, really, really be? Working on motorcycles is exciting. It's my passion. It's uh, something I dreamt of doing since I was a little kid. That's seriously the proudest moment like I have is when my mom and dad are actually proud of me for something. I'm seeing something you've built on the street and in the customer's hands and on the road. I've had the good fortune to walk down the assembly line and see a product that I've designed come together and like start up and drive away, which is absolutely mind blowing. The first time is just like ingrained in my brain, you know, because you walk past these racks of stuff that you've been working on and then all of a sudden it all comes together and it's just, it's, a, it's an incredible, incredible feeling.